Hello there and welcome to the new W dashboard and today I have brought you one more new design of a W dashboard based on the Superstore sample data that comes with the W. So here the main idea behind this dashboard is to give your users a great look and feel. So if you can see uh, on the background what I have is basically an image which gives an idea that this is a super store or this is an image of probably a store within the mall which is like a super store. and to our end user we want to give it a feel that for this super store these metrics are related that's why we have imposed or we have created these metrics on top of this and if you see the design of this dashboard is something which is you have the kpi and then it's detailed metric you have another another kpi detailed metric another kpi detailed metric so from this video what i want you to take is the design but not the calculation not the metrics or anything because you can choose whatever kpi you want you can choose whatever visualization you want but the color code the theme the settings is something which i will going to explain to you so you can work along with me uh, because this is a very simple one as you can see very simple visualization I have chosen you can make it as complex as you want but the main idea is that what is the design and how you can create it also the link for this dashboard is present if you want to get the template or buy this template then the link is present into the description to get it uh, and, and use it directly I mean for your users okay so what is the first information the first information is about the orders the order numbers so we can see that we have triple nine four or nine 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 four so for this simply for within this sheet i have the order count so if i just click it over here because if you see the text is ha is basically in the white font color that's why it was not visible if i just click it again so because the sheet background is white and the font color is white so obviously it will not be visible right so that's the reason uh you know i'm just clicking it over here to show you this but if you see it's a very simple setting i have taken the count of orders so order count is being generated automatically if not you can take the count of order id it will give you the same value and over here in the, within the text i have just gone inside so this count of order I have highlighted it with blue. I have used the tableau medium as the font and 26 as the color font size. And down there I am using the order count just to indicate what this number represent, right? So even this is for having a font color of white. So I have created this this sheet and then duplicated for these two KPIs. So average order value is nothing but your uh, total sales divided by the number of orders. Similarly, for order per customer, this is your uh, unique order divided by unique customer. So again, my suggestion is not to focus a lot on the calculation because we can debate about a lot as to how to calculate a particular metric, but take out the design, take the design out of this video. All right. So now the next thing is basically how to make it transparent so first thing is on the background what i have is basically an image so what i have taken is this image okay and when i pulled it over here it will ask you from where you want to get an image for example you will get an option like choose an image okay so image that you need to choose is something which is relevant to the um to the superstore so i have just googled it picked the image whichever i want and i used it in some cases it may happen that you may not get as dark image as, as i'm showing it so what i've used is basically excel so if i just go down and show you over here as you can see even for this icon which i have used it here this is the one i am changing the this in color the color of this icon within the excel so when I import this any any image, I go into the color and choose whatever color I want. And it it basically pretty handy for me because I have worked a lot within a spreadsheet. So I know a lot. However, I believe this functionality is not there in Tableau. So I am I'm, I'm not going there and updating it. So what I do is whenever I get any image, I go into the correction and make it a dark from here, either from here 
or from the color right so when i had this image the superstore background image i had it very bright image so i i basically toned down the overall image color so that i whenever i show any visualization it is coming properly on top of it okay so that's the first thing and another thing is all the objects that i'm showing over here is in the floating mode so for example this one right this is a floating object so how to create it you hold down the shift key and and drag any object you want like for example i want a floating sheet hold down i will hold down my shift key and i will bring the sheet over here i will remove or i will release the shift key only after i have i have dropped the component on the canvas over here so everything is basically your your floating object over here okay so once i have this floating object which is nothing but this one when i have it over here what i do is i go into the layout okay and over here i change the background to this color the second gray color and i keep the opacity to 21 percent what it gives me is sort of a image a superimposed image which is on top of the background image and on which i can use the white font color i experimented it with with very various different colors and finally i felt like white color is the one which is making a whole lot of sense when i put it over here okay so that's the metric and a supported image is this one these are nothing but again floating image if you will see and if i click on here edit image i choose the order completed image over here again this is the order completed which i again got it from the google you have various different options from where you can get these free images and i use the spreadsheet again i used this spreadsheet to change the color of the image to make it more sort of a gray so that this is present but not catching the attention of the user attention of the user should be here on the metric not on this one so that's why i have kept it gray and not white if it is white like this one then it will have the equal attention of the user and that's what uh, that's not what i want right so that's the reason i have kept it gray and uh, i've kept it white as this one same is the setting which i have applied it over here so these are the three boxes that that we have just covered in this in, in this video okay now the next one is the the trend which again setting is same for this sheet layout 21 percent so this is the background this is the 21 opacity and white is the line so if i just go into this order trend 2 so again you won't be able to see it because it's all white but overall what i have done is i'm using this month so this is the month continuous not this one remember this is the month which i'm using and another sad thing is within the path i am using this step line chart option which is giving me the view of this one how to change the line color to white so for that one you go into the color and choose this option it will give the color to white or it will change the color to white uh, for changing these axes uh, directly in the sheet or directly or in here in the dashboard what you can do you can right click and click on added access sorry uh format not that it right click format and over here on the font if you will see you can sorry over here on the axis uh, on the font you can choose the white color and the the same setting you can you can have definitely choose a different font if you would like but white is the color which i have chosen and same setting right click font and make sure you are on the axis not on the pane right so make sure you are on the axis over here uh only when only then your font will change otherwise not okay so that way whether this axis or axis is over here will going to change so what we are showing is basically a trend right so this basically indicates along with the order how the trend of the order really looks like and i'm showing the first and last value so how you can show that again for this you go here in the label make sure you enable the labels and keep the line ends that means start of the line and end of the line the numbers will be displayed 
so that's how i have shown the first and last value you have couple of more options as you could see you have uh, all you have minimum and maximum you have selected you have highlighted and most recent and it's completely up to you how do you want to show it i am showing it by line ends just for this video perspective next is a very simple bar chart if you would see i am having an average order value and want to show let's say for our users what is the average order value for each of my product subcategory in that case i have chosen the product subcategory on the x axis formatted it to the white and then for each one i am showing the value with their respective bar and i have sorted it into a, a, a descending order okay so over here not this one but this one yeah so i have subcategory i have average sales and here i have used this descending order and everything is converted into white and you get the chart like this similarly for this one this is again by product order per customer how many order per customer so for office supplies clearly it is uh, more orders as compared to the furniture and technology uh, which you can show it for any other dimension i have chosen the uh, product category over here and all of these visualization is then filtered by this one okay so i can choose consumer click apply you can see all the visualization change similarly i choose corporate uncheck this one click apply similarly i can choose home office and click apply i can choose two options as well if i want to click apply so this way i can i can make sure that uh, uh, i am showing the filter values as well and for some reasons this text is not showing so you can double click over here and uh, so this is a title select this and change it to white make it probably bold click ok and now the customer segment is coming so if this is the case this is the default behavior like it will be in the black color so how to change it in white color is just, just double click there select it change whatever you want right so so that's basically overall how this entire dashboard is and even if i have shown you these images is just to give a better look and feel a more professional look and feel to the dashboard so that's mainly about this the main idea was that how you would put your your uh, matrix as a as a in, on top of an image so that it is properly highlighted it is properly visual and gives a professional look and feel for providing the information to your end user let me know what you think about this dashboard and uh, if you enjoy it hit the like button uh, put it in the comments and share with your colleagues and friends uh, so that they can also get a benefit out of it that's pretty much it i'll meet you in the next video now